Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you all? I think you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEVS Home School. This is Muhammad Ali Aminopu, an assistant teacher in mathematics, National Ideal English Version School morning shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 9. Our today's topic is exercise 3.2, question number 8, 10 and 15 we will solve. These three questions we will solve today. Your lecture number is 7 and you have a homework, your homework number is 6. So have a look at the questions here from exercise 3.2, question number 8 at first. If a plus b is equal to 3 and a b is equal to 2, find the value of activity a is a squared minus a b plus b squared and activity b is a cube plus b cube. These two values need to find out. So the solution of question number 8, first of all you should write down given that. Given information, sir, given that is a plus b, that is equal to 3 and a b, which is equal to 2. Now, activity a, we need to find out the value of a squared minus a b plus b squared. The expression, the expression is a squared minus a b plus b squared. Now, my dear students, we have got the a b the value of a b is given here is 2 but the value of a squared plus b squared is not given that is why i am arranging this one is a squared plus b squared i am writing down at together and minus a b i am write down here this is the value we know but this is not we don't know this value of a squared plus b squared that is why i am going to write down a corollary the corollary number one of a squared plus b squared equal to a plus b whole squared minus twice a b. The corollary of a squared plus b squared is a plus b whole squared minus twice a b. Because we know the value of a plus b and we also know the value of a b. That's why I am going to create this corollary here. And minus a b is remain unchanged. Now look my dear students, it's a plus b whole square value is 3. So I can put the value in the next line a plus b whole squared minus it's minus twice a b minus a b it makes minus thrice a b minus twice a b and minus a b it makes minus thrice a b now i am going to put the value of a plus b and a b in this line a plus b is value is 3 so 3 is squared minus 3 into a b's value is 2 multiplied by 2 so 3 is squared means 9 minus 2 multiplied by 2 sorry 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 it is now 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 which is our required value of sub question number a of question number eight now sub question number b i can solve here sub question number b is already given that this one information is here in the main question number but activity a if done we know activity b is given expression or the expression the expression is a cube plus b cube we don't know the value of a and b but we know the formula from the corollary of a cube plus b cube that's equal to a plus b whole cube minus thrice a b into a plus b this is our first corollary of this exercise 3.2 now we can put the value of a plus b and a b here if we put then we can calculate the value of the expression a cube plus b cube the value of a plus b is nothing but 3 so it's 3 cube minus 3 into the value of a b is 2 multiple the value of a plus b is 3 now 3 cube means 3 is multiplied 3 times to each other 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 minus 3 to the 6 6 3 is are 18 so 27 minus 18 is 9 which is our value of a cube plus b cube so like this sort of problem we will solve like this way my students i hope you have understood how to solve this problem now problem number 10 which is related to uh, 10 11 and 12 are similar question question number 10 11 and 12 that's why i have given the question number 11 and 12 as your aw now i'm solving question number 10 if m plus 1 over m equal to a find the value of m cube plus 1 over m cube so how can we find out this value first of all we should write down the given information here is solution of 9 a solution of 10 given that m plus 1 upon m 
is equal to a this value is given now we need to find out the value of m cube plus 1 over m cube so the given expression or the expression is the expression is m cube plus 1 upon m cube that's equal to we can make the formula of a cube plus b cube now a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b a plus b whole cube minus thrice a b a b into a plus b formula in the place of a i have write down m in the place of b i have write down one over one upon m now this is the formula of a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b whole cube minus thrice a b into a plus b now we can put the value of m plus one upon m in these two places m plus one upon m is equal to a a then whole cube minus this m is our numerator and this m your denominator so these two m are we cut down it's three remain unchanged m plus one upon m equal to a that's equal to a cube minus thrice a which is our required solution which is the required result of m cube plus one upon m cube is equal to a cube minus thrice m sorry a cube minus thrice a now we can solve question number 11 and question number 12 a similar way of question number 10 so this two questions is your w question number 11 and question number 10 as it is w number 6 now question number five, 15 we will solve now if twice x minus 2 upon x equal to 3 show that 8 into x cube minus 1 upon x cube is equal to 63 so first of all we should write down the given information here the given information of question number 11 is given that it's twice x minus 2 upon x that's equal to 3 now look at the uh, problem the problem is given here x cube we need the only x cube and 1 upon x we need so with the x there are 2 is multiplied this 2 is no need that's why we can take 2 as common if we take 2 as common from these two terms we'll have x from the first term and we have minus 1 upon x from the second term that's equal to 3 my dear students look if we multiply these two with these two terms then we will get back this two term again because 2 into x equal to twice x 2 into minus 1 upon x equal to minus one, uh, 2 upon x we will get back this expression again so if we transfer this two into the right side we will have x minus 1 upon x that's equal to 2 was multiplied with this expression so 2 will be divided with 3 is 3 over 2 so the value of x minus 1 upon x equal to 3 by 2 now we will use this value in this uh, <coughs> in this given uh, problem and we will solve the solution look here is left hand side left hand side is equal to 8 into x cube minus 1 upon x cube we can create the formula like this way that's equal to 8 into we can write down x whole cube minus 1 upon x whole cube this bracket I am using for this first bracket because it is multiplied with these two terms. Now 8 into this a cube minus b cube. The formula of a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b. It's a minus b whole cube plus 3ab. 3ab into a minus b. This is the formula this is the corollary of a cube minus b cube now this all are multiplied to 8 that's why i am going to use the second bracket again now put the value of x minus 1 upon x the value of x minus 1 upon x is 3 over 2 so 8 is remained there 3 upon 2 whole cube the second bracket remain unchanged 3 this x is our numerator this x is our denominator so this will be cancelled it's x minus 1 upon x value is 3 over 2 is 3 over 2 this is our second bracket now cube of this 3 over 2 is how much 3 has the cube sign and the denominator 2 has the cube sign so 3 cube means 27 and it's 3 cube means 27 and 2 cube means 8 3 cube means 3 is multiplied 3 times to each other and 2 cube means 2 is multiplied to each other 3 times plus 
3 and 3 makes 9 over 2. It's a very simple addition of fraction. It's 8. Our LCM will be our uh, denominator. LCM will be our denominator. It's LCM of 8 and 2 is 8. Now divide this 8 by 8. We'll get 1. 1 multiply 27 is 27. Plus sign. Divide this LCM 8 by 2. We'll get 4. 4 multiply 9 is 36. 36. Now these two are multiplied to each other is 8 and 8 will be cancelled to each other because 8 is our numerator here, 8 is our denominator. Now 27 plus 36 equal to 63 which is our right hand side in the question. Okay, so you can write down that's equal to right hand side. Therefore, left hand side that's equal to right hand side and you can write down show. My dear students, I hope you have understood how to solve this kind of problem. Now, your SW again, I am telling you uh, telling you before about the SW. Now, I am telling you again, it's a degree number 6. You have to do the SW as question number 11 and question number 12 from exercise 3.2. And you can submit the SW number. It's question number, uh, really very sorry, it's question number will be 15. Yes, this question number is 15. This question is 15 here and you can submit all of your HW in every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So you can inshallah in the next class. Till then, Allah Hafiz.